It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 1225, and I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Hey there, a very happy Friday, and more importantly, a very happy new year to you if you're listening in real time. Welcome to another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, where I answer your health questions related to fitness, diet and nutrition, and lots more. You send in the questions, and I answer them for you. Now, if you want to send me a question, come by oldpodcast.com slash ask, or you can call in your question by dialing 61 I love ohd And I'm now taking questions by email, so you can send one in to health at oldpodcast.com. Now, before I get to today's question, I always have to talk about myself just a little bit so that you know about my background. Folks often ask me, so are you a medical doctor or what kind of doctor are you specifically? Well, I have my Doctor of Public Health degree where my emphases were chronic disease prevention and nutrition. I also have my Master of Public Health degree where my emphases were health promotion and health education. I'm also a registered dietitian nutritionist, a certified health education specialist, and a certified exercise physiologist through the American College of Sports Medicine. Now, when I'm not doing this podcast, I'm actually a full-time faculty within the California State University system. I published peer-reviewed research and presented research at national conferences. Now, I share all of that with you so that you know that the advice I give is science-based. It's data-driven as opposed to opinions and anecdotal evidence. So I hope that when you ask me a question, you feel confident that it's just not my opinion that I'm giving here. All right, with that, let's finally hear today's question as we optimize your life. Hi, Dr. Neal. I understand sitting all day can have negative effects on the body, and it's important to try to alternate between standing and moving throughout the day. I've seen active desk stools, and I'm wondering if there's any research on how those compare to traditional desk chairs in terms of posture or encouraging body movement. Thanks and love the show. Thank you for your question, Jamie. Thank you so much for listening and thank you for your kind words. Now, in a previous life, I used to work in a field called occupational health. In fact, my job title was super fancy, occupational wellness specialist. Now, part of my job was to help people find ways to follow a healthy lifestyle while they were at work while they were on the job. So I spent a lot of time with folks in office environments. I would help develop and instruct programs about nutritious eating while at the office, managing stress while on the job, and finding creative ways to incorporate short bouts of physical activity throughout the workday instead of just sitting at the desk. So imagine if Dunder Mifflin hired me to try and get Pam, Kevin, Dwight, Angela, Oscar, and all the rest to eat more nutritiously and move more while on the job. That would basically be what I was doing. Now, interestingly, I never recommended active desk stools. Now, there are different types of active desk stools available, but Jamie, I'm assuming you mean a type of seat that has some degree of instability, meaning when you sit down, the chair isn't very stable, so it requires someone to engage their trunk or core muscles to be able to sit up right. Now, sometimes, Folks will use a stability ball, sometimes referred to as a Swiss ball instead. Either way, as an occupational wellness specialist, I never recommended people use either of those. This was because my employer had banned them. My employer was concerned that employees could slip and fall off these desk stools and stability balls. I remember people were really upset about this ban, but my employer may have been onto something. Not because people would slip and fall necessarily, but because of the potential negative effects they may have on the health of their back and overall posture. But first, I'll start with the logic behind why active desk stools and stability balls were popular in the first place. Some published studies found that when office workers sat on a stability ball instead of a standard office chair, they burned an extra four calories per hour. So this meant you could potentially burn more calories throughout the day by swapping out your office chair for a stability ball instead. Not only that, but there were claims floating around that you could strengthen your abs too. Now, some did question this practice and said, hang on, wait a second, hold the phone. Now, the extra calorie burn may be all well and good, but if someone were to use an active desk stool or stability ball for weeks and months at a time, is that safe for their back? What might it do to their posture? 
Well, studies have been performed looking at this very thing. I'll start by saying that more research is absolutely needed. But what we're learning so far is that the ab muscles that were supposed to be activated usually aren't. Also, when they asked users of active desk stools and stability balls how they felt after using them, many reported experiencing pain. Other researchers have expressed concern that using these devices may worsen back problems or lead to bad posture-related habits. In fact, authors of one study concluded that use of any unstable seating device may be the opposite of what our bodies need in an office work environment, meaning a stable office desk chair would be the best. Authors of multiple studies concluded that using any unstable seating device may not be beneficial within the context of an office work environment. If you were to use a stability or Swiss ball as part of your workouts, that's fine. But to use them for prolonged periods of time while sitting at a desk is not advised. Instead, most say that if you want to burn some extra calories while preserving your posture, it's better to take regular standing and walking breaks. So, if I were to revamp Dunder Mifflin's Scranton branch, for example, I would try and get everyone sit-stand stations instead of active desk stools or stability balls. So I would recommend that they stand and maybe conduct some walking meetings instead of swapping out their desk chairs for stability balls or active desk stools. Thank you again for the question, Jamie. And remember, if you send me a question, you're entered into a very small raffle on the first of every month to win a book. So if you want to be in the raffle, send me a question you can email one to health at oldpodcast.com. Or if you want your voice heard on the show, just like Jamie, come by oldpodcast.com slash ask. You can record right from your computer's microphone or you can do it the old-fashioned way and call in your question. The number is 61 I love ohd All right, wishing you a very happy and safe new year. That'll do it for another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing this show with someone. Thank you for your continued support. I hope you have a great start to your weekend and a great start to your new year. And I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.